Hello everyone, my name is Moises Esparza, Exhibitions Manager for the San Diego Latino Film Festival. I'm here with Pascui Rivas, uh, Director of Ordinary Gods, screening today at the San Diego Latino Film Festival. Pascui, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. happy to be here at the San Diego Latino Film Festival and are presenting uh, Ordinary Gods. Uh, the scale and scope of your project took many years to realize. Um, you get to become quite knowledgeable about the ins and outs of the soccer players' lives. Um, how did you, or what aspects of their stories did you pull to create a cohesive whole uh, for the film? Well, the aspects in each story, um, it was one story. We always knew that we wanted to tell one story with these six different lives. So the aspects were what each one of these football soccer players um, represented with his experience based on where he was at in the stage of his career or his social economic emergence um, or uh, essentially what country he was from. So each one of these six players, it was chosen meticulously because they put forth a different aspect of the overall football experience, whether it's starting out in an academy or um, playing at, and on a national professional league or hoping to get sold to Europe, transferred, or being in Europe and perhaps wanting a better team or experiencing an injury or wanting to stay at the team you're at until you win that trophy that you always wanted. So all of these um, different um, life experiences they all go through in different points in their lives but th we use different players to tell this bigger story and on a project that takes this long to complete what did you learn about yourself as a filmmaker at the end of it what were some important lessons that you learned along the way I guess the best lesson about myself that I learned it's that um, I need to li always listen to my intuition uh, and for that Adam Peters who is the composer of the film he had just come from scoring Icarus and yeah and working with him was great because I'm also I also am also a musician so I would bounce off uh, melodies to him that he would or grab parts of or be inspired um, by and he would, would just having musical conversations he would always allow me to return of that place of if it feels right it's right if it doesn't feel right it's wrong um, and just knowing how to trust myself that that's all because when in this filmmaking business you always have this notion that the big boys do it differently and then you realize, no, they pretty much do the same thing you do, but they're just more confident about it. And I guess a very soccer-specific question. What about the sport do you think makes people so invested And in every player, every game? Is it the passion? Is it that every game is itself like a self-contained narrative where there's a clear winner and loser? What do you think it's, what, what about soccer do you think is so captivating? I think what is so unique about soccer is that it is so difficult to score a goal. That's why a whole match can end null to null, zero to zero. Um, that's why the goal is so celebrated. So the amount of anticipation and tension that there is up until that moment, that's, that's the cherry. So that's why that sport... I mean, for a long, that's why, I mean, they say, I, I'm not, I don't know 100%, but the, the reason why it took a, such a long time for the sport to land here and to be uh, established is that it is, it doesn't allow for so many interruptions. And ter there's not many spaces for commercials inside a football match because the, f the, the ball is constantly moving, but there's not that many scores happening, that w which makes the goal all the more important. Well, thanks so much for, for your time. You have a screening to get to. Uh, just 
maybe let listeners know or viewers know um, what are the next plans for the for the film. The film is now it's it premiered in the Santa Barbara International Film Festival, and now we're here at the San Diego Latino, um, focusing on our international premiere, waiting for news, and we're in we're seeking the widest distribution uh, options as possible. So. Um, that, that's the reason why we also come to festivals to, to, to hopefully keep expanding that well thanks so much uh, it was a pleasure talking to you we'll see you at the movie theater thanks so much man.